a group of us sitting on the beach in Osara, Playa Guiones, all of us with a very deep passion for good craft beers and uh, living in somewhat of a desert because we didn't have that available to us. And we decided to bring it onto our own shoulders and bring the culture and the quality of beer that uh, craft brewing represents and share it with the Costa Rican people. Uh, my name is Christopher Derrick. Uh, I'm the brewmaster here at Costa Rica's Craft Brewing Company. Literally saw a guy on the beach in Nosara with a shirt on that uh, is a flying dog brewery shirt. Talked to this guy about the brewery. Gave the phone number of Richard McIntyre, one of the owners of Flying Dog Brewery, to Peter Gilman and Brandon Nappy. They called him. Asked him if he was interested in opening a brewery in Costa Rica or bringing the beer down or what have you. He put them in touch with me and in December of 2009 I flew down here to meet with Peter. Here we are in September 2011 with an actual brewery, uh, brewing beer and, and, and selling beer and, and having good success. Stefano Marini, assistant brewer for Costa Rica's craft brewing company. I started working here around maybe nine months ago, ten months ago, uh, when I first met, came to meet CS. I brought some of my home brews and we chatted for a while and made a connection. And a while later, I started helping out at the brewery, and now I'm a, a full time uh, assistant brewer here. My name is Rasta, Rasta Manasseh. the brewery very quickly, about five times faster than we expected, and we brought the Segua Red Ale, which is a beautiful beer with a hot profile and a bitterness that we thought the Costa Ricans weren't ready for, and I've been at surfing events where the people are all chanting Segua, 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 for the Segua, right? And We've seen a, you know, a very open mind in Tico's to try styles of beer that you know, usually take a bit of time to acquire the taste and the palate. They've jumped right in. We are a uh, production brewery. And we bottle and keg for sale outside of uh, this establishment, two different beers. One beer, uh, the Libertas, is basically a uh, golden ale, a lighter style. Uh, we call it a golden tropical ale. Basically, it's that transition beer from the national beers that are available, lager, pills ale type beer, into a more, uh, you know, let's say a more craft oriented beer, you know, a beer with a little more body, a little more hops. What is available and what we would love to have everyone drinking, which is more like the Segua, which is a, we call it a red ale, really it's just an American amber ale or pale ale. It's a little, a little malty for a pale ale. Um, but uh, so if you think of it, the style is an amber ale. Uh, it's, uh, it's fairly sweet. It's got a fair amount of body to it. There still is quite a hoppy beer, a hoppy finish, hoppy nose. Uh, and so uh, those are the two styles that we're doing. We've just done our second seasonal beer, uh, a Scottish style ale. Uh, and that will probably be our third beer in a bottle. A lot of this industry has gone to extreme brewing and many different ways, but what we stay focused on is a well-balanced beer. 
And a lot of people, they'll drink a special beer, they'll fall in love with it, but they don't know why. And sometimes they think it's just the finish or it's just one part of the, the flavor profile, but the really, really solid beers are all well balanced and they bring a certain style together. And that's why we're kind of, you know, we're going a different path than they're going to the States, which is big beers, you know, over the top, the strongest beer you can produce. We're looking for the most balanced beer that brings the most smiles to people's faces, right? Isn't that what it's all about? I love it because it's become a part of my life. My brother introduced me to it, and almost everyone I know who's found craft beer, it hasn't been from a big sign or a girl in a little bathing suit giving out samples. It's from a good friend who says, hey, there's something special out there, and there's flavors you haven't experienced. And once you start tasting, you know, go from a lambic, to a say song, to a stout, and you start realizing all the possibilities with the beer, and it's, you know, it's an artistic form that's just unlimited. The beers, the styles, what have you, that I prefer to, to brew, and I, I, I like people to be drinking and enjoying, is certainly, they don't have to be these over the top, double this, imperial that super tutti fruity whatever i mean I, I i these really really big beers are really special things are really uh things that are just so far out of the norm i mean i strive for virtuosity in brewing which is um, it's not that you're doing something that's that great but you're doing something a movement and you're, you're doing it consistently well over time and so really I, 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 I like to see us doing nice drinkable beers uh, and have a consistency in that production. When that person drinks a Segway or a Libertas, that first time, when they come back the fifth time, the sixth time, the tenth time, it's the same beer. We're getting the same product, quality product, uh, time and again. Because there's more love in it than any other beer on the market. No, I did have one other message that I want to share, and it's a big shout to the team for Brandon in the U.S. helping us with the marketing and the, the visual side of our company and the production team, CS and Stefano. They've worked as hard as any brewing team can. We're real proud to be representing here in Costa Rica. Pura vida. <laughs> I love craft beer. I love craft beer. I love craft beer. I'm Peter Gilman, co-founder of Costa Rica Craft Brewing, and I love craft beer.